We're here at the Goodwood Festival of Speed for the premiere of Battle Drift 2, presented by Monster Energy and featuring this badass ride. So for those of you who don't know about Battle Drift, in 2015, Daigo Saito and Vaughn Gittin, two of the world's great drift car racers, met in an abandoned village. Vaughn in his V8 Mustang and Daigo in his V12 Lambo threw down an epic tow race around the streets and hills of the abandoned town. Battle Drift 1 was epic. The production value incredible and the people loved it. So our friends at Monster Energy said, let's bring it back for round two. Daigo Saito and his drifting Lambo were back for more, but this year they feature a new cast of characters and cars. Let's go to the premiere inside and see if we can hear from some of the guys. So we've just we're here at the uh, at the premiere of Battle Drift 2. Yeah, yeah. Um, you were the MC of the event. <laughs> Obviously, it was epic. What did you think? Yeah, I mean, I I, I was called up. They said, right, you, we want you to go down and uh, you know film behind the scenes. Uh, obviously for me, I've, I've never been really in front of the camera in that way. Um, so it was a new experience for me, but it was good to, you know, be a part of Monster, do something that was really, really cool, get to see some mega cars, you know, yeah. drifting around. And Bagsy and Daigo are so fantastic, you know, in terms of their skill level. Sure. And uh, especially the Nissan GTR is like the mental. So you doing the, some of the behind the scenes stuff. Does that yeah. mean you had some inside access to some of the content before it came out? Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, I hadn't seen any of the behind the scenes stuff until I got here today. Yeah. Um, but the whole point of me being there was almost to show viewers, you know, yeah. what goes on behind the scenes in terms of us, how we, how we, um, how we film it talking to the drivers, you know, what they're going, having to go through, because uh -huh. a lot of them have to change their driving styles and techniques, sure. because they're not competing, they're in a, you know, in a special, specific location, sure. you know, there's, you know, tight barriers, and, you know, you're in a warehouse yeah. or whatever, so there's so many different things you have to sort of take into account. All right, we're here with Vaughn Gittin Jr. Vaughn, good to meet you, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. And we've just seen the uh, premiere of Battle Drift 2. Tell us what you think. Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, it's, it's so rad, you know, for Monster to be, you know, putting projects out like this. You know, we did Battle Drift 1, I, where uh, Daigo Saito and myself had a blast in Japan. And uh, this year, uh, my Monster Energy teammate Bagsy and Daigo uh, battled it out uh, on a port uh, here in the UK. So wow. that was my first time seeing it. It's pretty rad. You know, I, I totally understand uh, some of the, the challenges just from watching it that they had yeah. to go through. So pretty cool to see uh, the car still in one piece. So we've just seen the premiere of Battle Drift 2, which obviously features this car and yep. your brother um, ripping around in some pretty wild scenes. It was, it was an amazing place for a shoot. It was, it was awesome to be there. Obviously you went over quite a few jumps and land on the flat on yeah. kind of cement. What's you know the background of these cars a little big? Yeah, this is a short course off-road truck, uh -huh. so it's meant to jump. They're jumping over 100 feet. A lot bigger than that, but most of them have landings where it's not flat. Yeah. But I mean, this truck has just under 600 horsepower, over a dozen inches of travel. I think it's 16 in the rear, 14 in the front. Oh, wow. So it's meant to do what you did in the video. Yeah. But most of the time it's in dirt. Bagsy, John. That's me, buddy. Thanks for taking some time. Chat no with us here at Edge Sport. So we just saw the premiere of Battle Drift 2. You're the star with Daigo, obviously. Unreal video, tell us a little bit about the shoot, but um, and, and what you think of the final product. I mean, when you just saw it, I just saw it. Yeah. So I've only seen it the once, the same as everybody else has seen it. Um, I'm stoked on it, I think it's great, I really did. I was very nervous, because a lot of people were gonna be comparing it to one, yeah. but I feel like that's a really good video. They cut it really well. Um, we had loads of headaches on the shoot, like, yeah. you know, br yeah, it's a brand new car. I'd never driven it before. I'm up against the Lamborghini with, yeah. a, with a guy that's so, so respected in the drift world. He's such a great driver. Um, so for me, it was a massive challenge. And we only had three months to build the car. It's not a case of like, how long did the car take you to build? It's like, this is the time we had to build it. Yeah. That we didn't have an option. If we missed the date, we, we were screwed. So. Um, I mean, coming up to the final days before the video uh, started filming, it was hell, you know? The, me and the guys went to hell and back yeah. to get this thing done and ready um, for filming. But, you know, we're so, we're so proud of what we've achieved in such a short period of time. We did everything in-house, you know? Mm -hmm. Every last nut and bolt on that car was done by us. You talk about the car and the video, but you gotta let us know what happened to that rear bumper. So basically what happened in that scene is that it was a real uh, industrial car park area. 
and it's a shipping container dock so there's pallets and the bits of wood and all sorts of stuff going on around the outside of the track and I just hit uh, some real deep mud yeah. and some like bits of debris and a couple of little bits of wood and all sorts and it was fine the first time I did it because nothing really came off the car but the second time we did it on the second take I think the bumper was loose already mm. from the first go yeah. and it just pulled the rear bumper off took both headlights with it yeah. the rear skirt went and I got out of the car and I was like like oh my god <laughs> we've, wrecked, we've wrecked the car but yeah, again, my boys stepped up um, in the team and they got it fixed up real good and no one even knew for the rest of the film. Yeah, so. so you touched on another question I had. What kind of preparation goes into like the, the scene, the track? Like just cold? You just show up and drive the cars? Or yeah, you go I out mean, and sweep? I, or? I, I was lucky to go, I was lucky enough to go and do a site wrecking. Okay. So we, we kind of looked at all the individual places that we could use for the filming. Um, so I got an idea in my head of what we could do. But then again, uh, you know, the director turned up, the team turned up from Donut and they were like, we want to do this, do that, do this. And then me and Daigo, um, he doesn't speak real good English yeah. at all and I don't speak no Japanese. <laughs> so it was a real language barrier. But um, we kind of figured it out. We, Car know, we, is international. Yeah, yeah driving. Exactly. So we were kind of like, yeah, we'll go this way and then we'll go that way. And it was kind of follow the leader. So yeah. it was fine. We figured cool. it out pretty good. There's a couple of hairy moments like when he hit the back of the car with his yeah. headlight. Uh, he was so bummed on yeah. that. But you know, it made for a good outtake. Wow. Having now seen that video, I can promise you it's epic. Head over to the monster sites and see for yourself. Don't take my word for it. On YouTube, online, you know the drill. But anyway, that's a wrap for us here at Goodwood Festival of Speed. We look forward to seeing you again soon.